Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. So they have given this complex integration here where C is a circle mod Z is equal to 1. So they have mentioned a circle also. We have to find this value of uh, we have to find value of this integration. Okay, so this is a playlist of Cauchy's residue theorem. So first of all, we will check that Cauchy's residue theorem is applicable or not. If it is applicable, 100% we solve this problem with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us start to solve this example. First of all, I will call the given integral as i. We have i So the most important thing is a given curve. So here we have curve C is a circle mod Z is equal to 1. C is the circle mod Z is equal to 1. So we have to draw this circle first, right? How to draw this circle? We need to have the center and radius of this circle. So let us find center and radius, the radius of this circle. What will I do? I will compare the given equation with this standard equation of circle where Z0 is center of circle and R is radius of this circle. Okay, I will compare the given equation with this one. Here we have simply mod Z. Actually, we should have mod Z minus Z0. So Z0 is not there. That means it is 0. So the center of circle is 0, 0. Okay, the second thing is radius. We will compare the right hand side r is equal to 1. So the radius is 1. So the given circle is a circle with center 0, 0 radius 1. So let us draw rough sketch of this circle. Okay. Imaginary axis, real axis 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 okay center 0 0 radius 1 so very small circle we get like this center 0 0 radius 1 so this circle is a given circle okay so let us think about the function now what is a given function f of z we have f of z 4z square minus 4z plus 1 upon z minus 2 z square plus 4 okay so actually we are planning to use Cauchy's residue theorem to solve this problem so let us try to understand the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem first then we will go further okay so statement of Cauchy's residue theorem is integration over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residue. That means this theorem says we can find a value of this integration with the help of residues only without using a single formula of integration. Just with the help of residue we can find a value of integration. For that what we do first we find the singular points of a given function. Singular points that means a point where function is not analytic or generally we say the point for which the denominator is 0. We will check those points are lying inside a circle or outside a circle. If point lies outside a circle, okay, no need to consider it. Simply you should consider the points which are lying inside a circle. Okay, so if, if there is any point which is lying inside like this, then we find a residue at those points. We take the sum of all these residues and we take product with 2 pi i and which will give us the value of integration. Okay. So what is our first task to find the singular points and to find the singular points which are lying inside the circle, not outside the circle. Okay. Let us check and let us find. Let me remove this one. Okay. See, uh, we have to find the points where the denominator is 0. That means for those points, the function won't be analytic. But the problem is that the second bracket contains a polynomial. So we need to find its factors first. Then we can find its singular points. 4z square minus 4z plus 1. Z minus 2. Z square minus 
minus 4 okay that plus 4 can be expressed as minus minus 4 minus minus plus so this is 4z square minus 4z plus 1 z minus 2 so z square minus 4 that means 2i square getting i square is minus 1 and 2 square is 4 so that's why 4 minus 4 can be expressed as 2i square i am sure you are familiar with this formula a square minus b square that is a plus b a minus b right so this formula i am going to apply here so we will get 4z square minus 4z plus 1 upon z minus 2 z plus 2i z minus 2i so we got the factors now okay so we can easily see if i put z is equal to 2 denominator will be 0 if I put z is equal to minus 2i, then also denominator 0. Or if I put z is equal to 2i, then also denominator 0. So therefore, z is equal to 2 minus 2i and plus 2i are singular points of f of z. These are singular points of f of z. Okay, So we have to check whether those points are lying inside or outside a circle we are more interested in singular points which are lying inside a circle okay z is equal to 2 it is here z is equal to minus 2i so it is here minus 2i and z is equal to 2i so you can easily see the given function has only three singular points and all these are lying outside a circle that means Cauchy's residue theorem is not applicable here getting the my point since for Cauchy's residue theorem, we should have some singular points inside a circle, then we find the residue of them. But see, fortunately, all points are lying outside a circle. So Cauchy's residue theorem is not applicable. Now the question is how to solve this integration. But see, we have still Cauchy's theorem. It theorem says if the function is analytic inside and on closed curve C, then the value of integration is zero. That means all singular points are lying outside the given curve then the value of integration is zero okay i'm going to write that thing just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us write all singular points of f of z lie outside c all singular points are lying outside c therefore f is analytic f is analytic inside and on closed curve c see all singular points are lying outside that means function is analytic inside c and on boundary of that closed curve c so therefore the cauchy's theorem is applicable so therefore by cauchy's theorem that theorem says the value of integration, let me write z minus 2 and what we have z square plus 4. Theorem says the value of integration is 0. So that is why we got the answer 0. Okay. So example is over, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you in the next video.